Speaking of getting ready for spring, maybe the plants in your life need to get ready for spring as well. We have the plant doctors here tonight. They can help you. They are hosting a repotting event next week. So we have Skylar and Chelsea here. Thank you guys for coming. Yes. yes. We love having you back here. And today you get, had, gave me very important instructions. You said bring in some plants that need repotting, which confused me. And clearly you guys were like, you need a bigger pot. You need this. How do people figure out when their plants need to be repotted? Really good question. Um, so first step to knowing if your plant needs to be repotted, A, if it's in a nursery pot, good thing to repot. Two, if it's grown a lot since your last repot, and we like to repot every March, oh, pretty much, okay. unless the plant's pretty big. And then we break it down into some simple steps so that you can just knock it out. <laughs> first Perfect. is prep. Yes. So you have to have your right components for your soil. Whoa. It's not just soil, which we have a huge tub of over here. So that's just like soil you that's buy. Sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, you guys have a special mix. You guys we do. are from fancy. And we're going to break it down for yes. you. Yes. This is vermiculite. This adds um, aeration to your soil. Mm. This is charcoal. It keeps your soil clean yes. um, from molds and mildews and, and bacteria. And this is bark. Carries the same properties as the vermiculite to Whoa. keep it nice and um, aerated because soil is about water, not about nutrients. You get the nutrients from fertilizer Whoa, um, and okay. plant food. Learning so many things. It's only been like 30 seconds. I think when we start repotting my lovely rubber tree here, you might find some charcoal in there because last time you guys were on our show, you said get charcoal. And so at least I think I got that step. But where do we start? Boss. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so you want to choose a pot that's one to two inches larger than the pot it's mm -hmm. already in. So this wouldn't be much of an upgrade for this plant. We want it to grow. This will be a good upgrade because it's about two inches deeper and two cool. inches wider. You ready? For, yeah, you ready let's to go. start? So, now Can you gotta, my plant baby a new home. Oh my gosh. You gotta get the plant out of here. In a nursery pot, it's a little bit easier. You just push on the sides and can pull it out. In a ceramic pot, you just gotta really get in there. You just dig in. Yeah. Okay. You just kind of wiggle. And you not just try not to damage the roots or anything in there. Yeah, Be nice to it. Yeah, but the roots it. are less sensitive than you think. Okay. Fiddle leaf roots are really sensitive, but you gotta kind of break up the roots when you're repotting so See, that they can the grow. Look at that. <laughs> yes. She's a pro. I swear it was in there somewhere. So you kind of break up the roots a little bit. It might get a little messy. Uh -huh. So that way it can grow into your new home, which is right here. Yes. So what you want to do so next beautiful. is do a layer of dirt at the bottom. Okay. So that way the roots have somewhere to grow into. And this is pre-mixed soil of from all of what's those. over there. Oh, awesome. Exactly. So you guys already did all those steps. Yeah. yeah. This seems like a good, obviously it's messy. You're playing with dirt, but to have it in a big... Bin exactly. Like this seems better than when I just like do it on the floor of my apartment and then things are everywhere. We bring tarps when we do like an install. Mm -hmm. And there's no reason to waste good soil. So smell your soil as you're um, like dumping the soil out. And if it oh. doesn't smell moldy, you'll know it smells <laughs> moldy if it if it's moldy. Then mm. you can reuse it. Just mix it in with your charcoal and your orchid bark and Smart. Exactly. light. So then you want to get it in the right height. This is a little low, so I'm going to add like one or two more scoops. That's what I always struggle with. And then, then I hard. feel like I get it up too high and then it's either exactly. it's one or the other. So then once you get it in there, sometimes I push it out to the side and now we're ready to start layering just the dirt. Adding more soil. So now you just bring it in all around. I mean, I'll, quite honestly, I prefer to use my hands. Right, and it has like good healthy properties, right? Yeah. Like it's good to get your hands dirty. Exactly. Literally. Now while you keep adding the soil, I'm just making you do all the work here. I love um, it. But you guys are having a potting open house yep. one week from tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And exactly. people can just come out, come hang out and have you guys help them repot their plants. Exactly. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's at Parachute, um, home on 23rd. And uh, basically you just come, you bring your pots and you bring the plants. We'll have some extra pots if you don't uh, have pots that you want to plant them in, and then we'll take care of business. And then you guys also are really good at putting holes in pots that you might find at the store, and you're like, it's really cute, but there's no hole in it. You exactly. guys can help with that too. Definitely. Yep. We'll drill them for you. Because you've said it's easy, but I don't know if I trust myself. <laughs> do people need to sign up in advance, or do they just show up to the open house? Great to sign up in advance. Uh, you can definitely do that, but you can also just show up. Yeah, amazing. We'll be ready. Now, we might be running out of time, but Really quickly, so I brought a cactus in as yes. well. We might not have time to repot it, but there's different soils. So how do you figure out like what you're gonna put your pot, your plant mm. in? First and foremost, cactus. Just you gotta have good gloves. These are thorn-proof gloves. Have some good oh. ones so that it doesn't hurt. And then this is just a really um, more dense with vermiculite and perlite, and less dense with the actual soil. And that's uh, so that it aerates. If you think about where a desert 
where a desert lives. Where a <laughs> cactus lives, it's in the desert, so it's just more loamy. Oh, soil. so lonely, but they're still cute. Thank you guys so much. Of course, you can follow The Plant Doctors on Instagram. You can go to theplantdocs.com. If you're around different shops in Portland and you see beautiful plants in there, there's a good chance that these ladies put those plants in those homes and had a big tarp laid out in the installation. <laughs> and just picture that in your brain. Thank you guys so much. Thank this was you. fun. My plant looks beautiful.